Hi everyone, welcome to another crafty video. Today I'm showing you three ideas on how to make your gifts extra special. The gift I'm using today is wrapped in a lovely star patterned paper. For today's project I'm using the Winter Sparkle Buttons bag from Craft Label. You'll find the link in the description below. These have a nice rose gold color and you get 60 buttons in a bag. For the first idea, I used the Spin Softy Baby Yarn, which has a bit of sparkly thread in it and lots of buttons. You'll need to cut three lengths of yarn, enough to wrap around your gift three times. First, uh, tie a knot on one end to keep all three threads together. Then use a bit of uh, tape to keep it into place while working. Ready, set, go! Let's start braiding! So we're gonna use the three threads to braid a very long cord. Now let's stop a bit and add a button. Just take one thread and pass it through one button. Then just continue braiding. Stop from time to time to add a button, creating like some sort of garland with buttons. After adding the button, just continue braiding from where you left off. The garland will be wrapped around the gift, so it's okay if you want to test it and see if you want to add more buttons or not. Also, if you want, you can ignore the back side of the gift and just do a simple braid without buttons. If you wish to have buttons only on the front side of your gift, you just need to leave more space between the buttons. Through the magic of technology, I finished my garland. Now it's time to add the final button. In order to do that, I'm wrapping uh, the cord around my gift three times. So I know it will have to close right about here. So I take the final button. This time I'm gonna pass the thread through two buttonholes so it will stay flat.
After adding the final button, braid like two or three more times. Then tie a knot and trim. For closing, pass the button through the other end of the cord, as you can see me doing here. So that's it, that's a lovely way to wrap your gifts. For the second idea, I'm using the first edition North Star paper pad from Craft Label. I'll link it in the description below. I picked one of the double-sided designs and I die cut two flower shapes in different sizes. Then I used a needle to curl up the petals so it will give it a 3D effect. Add the two parts, one on top of the other. Then add the button in the center. For the next step, I'm using a needle and thread to sew these parts together. If you wish, you can glue them instead of sewing. I just like how it looks like soon. This is how the flower looks like in the end. You can curl it a bit more if you wish. Then add a bit of foam tape on the back to finish. The last idea is to create gift tags with the same buttons I used before. So I die cut a few gift tags. You can also buy this sort of gift tags from your local craft store. For the first tag I'm using the winter sparkle buttons and the snowflake charms. So I'm taking a few buttons and arrange them in a Christmas tree shape. Then I'm just adding a snowflake on top instead of the star. I used my hot glue gun for gluing everything onto the tag. So that's it for the first tag. For the second one, I'm using buttons and twine. First, I'm measuring and cutting my twine. These will be like uh, Christmas uh, bubbles. After cutting the twine, I use my hot glue gun to fix this onto the tag. Then I decided to make a bow for each bubble using the same twine. So take the twine, bunny ear, bunny ear, tie them together and you have a bow.
then I glued the tiny bows on top of the bubbles. So there you have it, two super quick and cute tags. You can add the sentiment on them if you wish, of course. I hope you enjoyed today's video and will use these ideas to embellish your Christmas gifts this year. Thank you everyone for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already, as it will help me a lot. Thank you again and see you next time. Happy crafting!